my name is Maria Mathis and I'm the brand new president of the Federal Bar Association, which is an organization consisting of about 20,000 lawyers and judges nationwide. I'm here today to talk to you about cyberbullying. Now you're probably wondering why a group of lawyers cares about cyberbullying, but there are many important reasons that I'll share with you. First, I'm proud to share that the Federal Bar Association is committed to providing guidance and opportunities to the youth of our nation. And we do this through our annual community outreach project each April in federal courthouses and also through our civics initiatives, such as our annual national essay contest for high school students. Cyberbullying can affect someone of any age, and so the victim of cyberbullying can be any age or the person doing the bullying can be any age, but it primarily affects teenagers. We feel that it is important to help the youth of our nation. And we're doing this by encouraging kids to stop cyberbullying and also by educating everyone about cyberbullying. Second, one of the concepts that we focus on in the legal profession is the importance of civility toward one another. Cyberbullying is the exact opposite of this. It is unnecessarily mean and cruel. The person doing the cyberbullying is probably under peer pressure from their friends to bully someone or they may not realize the severity of the impact that bullying can have on someone's self-esteem, their mental state, their emotional state, and their overall well-being. Cyberbullying can have long-lasting negative effects on someone's life. So before you post something negative on social media, please think twice, because once you post, it's on the internet indefinitely. Cyberbullying also presents a unique problem, which is that the victim of cyberbullying cannot escape it because, as we all know, social media is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so the victim never has any relief. Ask yourself, do you really want to be responsible for upsetting someone? Is that something that you can feel good about and be proud of? No. Third, most states have laws and or policies in place about cyberbullying. So if you choose to engage in cyberbullying, keep in mind that you are at risk for potentially violating these laws and policies. In situations like this, it's best to remember the advice that you've probably heard from someone who cares about you, which is that if you don't have something nice to say, say nothing at all. And this applies to social media as well. It can take a lot of time, energy, and effort to cyberbully someone. Instead, take that energy and do something positive with it. Smile, open the door for a stranger, give someone a compliment, thank your teachers, call your friends, volunteer at a soup kitchen. Instead of focusing on something negative like cyberbullying, choose to do something that you can be proud of. Be positive and spread kindness. Mm -hmm.